All right, everybody. So we have a fun project today. We have an HTC GCU um, for ZF HHP P70 transmission, as you guys can see right here. And what you used to have to do was you used to have to run all these jumper wires on there, but now they've made a new board to make it a lot easier and you can solder in. So let's get started and do this install. Okay, so I'm on our messy venture. All right, guys, so here's the tools you're going to need. A pair of cutters, razor blade, fat tip solder iron, your solder, lead solder, and your solder wick. Let's get started, guys. All right, just get your razor blade underneath there like that. Move your wires out of the way. We don't need to save them at all. And they're really nice and easy. Just work your way around. Get all these and take these off so it's nice and clean so we can solder it freshly. On the those, little piece gets stuck. Break it off. Easier to use the razor blade to do this. Okay, so now we get all of our wires off, scraped off everywhere, putting the ground wire there. All right, guys, so now that we've gotten all this part cleaned off, now we're doing is we're going to Get rid of all these wires that are in there. Just use a pair of wire cutters. That way, you don't have any things short now or causing problems in the future. From there, so it's real easy just to cut these right out of there. So you got nothing floating around inside of there causing any havoc or problems and all. This board will leave in here where we're doing so. Almost done. All right, so we got all the wires removed in there. You guys can see all those wires are broken off. We'll take some uh, alcohol, we'll kind of spray it around the edges on there and clean it off. And we're going to inspect all these here. He was as well. All right, so now those are all prepped on the pads. Now comes the fun part. What we're going to do is when this goes in, this goes in like this. Just lining it all up everywhere. Okay. Just like that. So this side faces down, everybody. This side is the face that goes up, okay? So again, line it up right in there. Make sure it's flush all the way down. It's a tight fit. See it kind of snap into place. And we're going to do is we're going to solder all those pads into place. All right, guys, so I'm just scraping a little bit with a iron and I'm just pre uh, pre putting solder on the pads a little bit, make life a little bit easier. So you guys can see, kind of shimming it back and forth a little bit, get a good connection. Just probably the harder parts, probably getting it off of off of there, so you see the good beads coming off. Oh, don't bridge on. All right, so now you guys put the boards down and see it'll be a lot easier for a little solder. Looks for a better connection.
Okay, so now you gotta inspect for any solder bridges. Plug to make sure they all look good all the way around. So you guys can see they all look perfect. This is the soldering tip that I use. We use a big fat one's got lots of heat. And there you guys go. So now it's time to epoxy on top of all the pins and everything. And you're all set. Time for install.